usually a few days before we do a lot of preparation. Um, my family is tend to be very traditional. My husband's other family is. So they do a lot of food preparation ahead of time. A lot of shopping and cutting. And then the night before there's a whole big um, a meal together as a family. Certain food we have to have like uh, fish, you know, it indicates that every year you will have leftovers, you will have more. So um, that is for, you know, the particular good meaning uh, within the food and uh, we have um, pig's feet. <laughs> so, um, and we have different things. You have to have like uh, chicken. On the 28th, I think uh, of the you know, old year, you are supposed to do the cleaning of your house, right? So clean up everything, so get rid of the dirt and um, stuff, and then you, you're supposed to have a new haircut, new clothes, and oftentimes, especially nowadays, I think um, most Chinese people wear red for the new year because it's considered a lucky color. Usually what you will see is there will be lion dance okay, to scare with the evil spirits as well as the firecrackers is to scare the bad luck away. Um, but what you will see is that a lot of these lions or these um, dragons, they will go to the business stores. Mm -hmm. The stores, they want to welcome them in and there will be definitely a lettuce. Lettuce is called San Choi, which is especially means that to have wealth or like to be wealthy or good fortune. So, and in that letter, there's usually a red envelope attached to it. So, they would be like actually going to the stores, and the store welcome these um, dragons to come in, or the lions to come in to do a dance to bring prosperity in so that they have a lot of, you know, good business. Yeah, children definitely get money uh, from their parents, grandparents, uh, uncles, and aunts, right? Only if they're married. Uh, they're not married, they, they will get money. But if they are married, then they don't get money. Yeah, I'm saying like no. children will only get it for married couples. Mm -hmm. Yes. New Year's in, in, to us is not like your New Year's, where it's just a big celebration of Times Square and drinking wine and alcohol. It's really a time for family to get mm -hmm. together. It's really about family because oh, one thing we really forgot is that you always go visit family during the, the 15 days. You find a day to visit, go back to your mom or your sisters or your cousins or your relatives to say hello. That's what I used to do when I was young. Like always go to my uncle's house, my aunt's house, you know, go visit them and they will have the candy box out. Yeah. But that's considered old fashioned now. Usually people don't eat those things anymore. Oh, we do. <laughs> now, nowadays. And, Actually, and I forgot about that. that we so also important. have the, um, um, the flower thing, flower market, like I don't yeah, know what they call it yeah, in, it is in the flower market. It is the yeah, flower so market. basically uh, before the new year every family would go there, like in my part of the country, I don't know, maybe in the north people don't do that, but at least in my part in the south, like people would do that, they go to the flower market, they buy beautiful flower to uh, put in their living room, so that is again considered good luck, you know, you make your house beautiful. Everything is always on a positive note. When I was a kid, we could never say anything negative in Chinese New Year. It was just not acceptable. <laughs> My mom would get very mad at me if I say something bad. You have to be like, everything is good, you know? Even if you eat something and it tastes terrible, you have to say it tastes good. <laughs>